Hey, hey, what's up guys and welcome to another pro tip video. Today we're talking about carpet implants. Uh, something really cool about just one species carpet is it is, I don't know, monotonous uh, pattern, but at the same time it is also boring. And in today's pro tip I'm gonna show you how you can spice up your carpet, add more texture to it and yeah, take your Iwagumi to the next level. Okay guys, so in today's video we're talking about carpeting plants and how you can spice up your, I don't know, like monoculture carpet in your Iwagumi or just in the foreground of your aquarium. If you take this tank as an example, it is using the Micrantima Monte Carlo as the main carpeting plant. Monte Carlo has very uniform structure, lots and lots of tiny, small leaves. Uh, and if the area filled in with Monte Carlo is just too large, it can become quickly boring. There is very little variation in leaf size, in pattern, in color, so it looks all the same. While in the Japanese, you know, like the traditional Iwagumi style, just the uniform monoculture carpet is ideal because it's very minimalistic. Yes, it's nice, but it becomes very quickly boring. So I really like mixing carpeting plants and in this aquarium I found very good examples for this. So let's have a closer look on it. As you can see in this aquarium, in the Monte Carlo carpet there are like strains or stripes. There is some uh, Marsilea hirsuta growing and Marsilea hirsuta has a very different color compared to uh, Monte Carlo, also a very different growth pattern. The leaves are sitting on small stalks and they have sometimes round shaped leaves, sometimes they have this like, you know, like a lucky fleefer type of leaf and uh, yeah, there, there's the variation between like light yellow color, dark green, light green color and it is really adding very nice pattern to the Monte Carlo carpet overall. Uh, and also there are some little patches of the Cryptocorini Vendigy Compact and you can see the Cryptocorini is actually propagating with a runner and there is a runner or like a root growing underneath the Monte Carlo and you see a little Cryptocorini uh, little plantlets popping out here and there really spicing up this uh, Monte Carlo carpet. In my own private tanks at home I use this technique several times and you can combine several carpeting plants to achieve a very natural, kind of almost forest-like look appearance. For example, you can mix the Alopsis brasiliensis uh, with the Marsilea crinata, uh, both growing small and you have like the grassy look like brasiliensis and this round shape Marsilea leaf size. Or you can mix the Hemianthus cuba with the Iliocaris mini for example or you can also combine uh, Monte Carlo together with Hemianthus cuba, with Marsilea hirsuta, with Marsilea crinata, having little patches of Iliocaris here and there, maybe some crypts. So the more color and patterns you combine, the more natural it can look. Uh, but try to have one kind of ground carpeting plant and just some details, some um, like highlights here and there. If it also becomes one mix, it becomes like dirty, muddy water. So don't overdo it and uh, yeah, keep enjoying your carpeting plants. I hope you liked this pro tip. If you did, please share them with your friends, subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, do all the things we YouTubers tell you to do and I'm gonna see you in the next video. Bye.